Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you can visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I also have a Leo and Virgo-only channel. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. So uh, go ahead and hashtag whatever you would like to win in the comment section below, okay? Um, winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. Um, readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's just not your story. Readings can be future predictive. Um, and when leaving comments, please be sure to have empathy and sympathy for anyone that may be going through a hard time, even if the reading does not resonate with you, okay? Um, I do not take personal readings, uh, so any phone numbers that you see in the comments section is not me. If anyone reaches out to you on social media, it is also not me. And um, I can recommend Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. The link to book with her is in the description box below. All right. What do we have here today for, what do we have here today for Cancer, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Page of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Five of Swords in the Reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ten of Wands and the Death card. Okay. So, Cancer, I feel like what we have here on this side is somebody that is kind of kicking themselves in the butt over something that was said. Someone here said something that they feel that they shouldn't have said. With that Knight of Pentacles and that Five of Swords in the reverse, I, I get that they're, you know, because that Five of Swords had to be in the upright at some point in time, right? So what I'm getting here is that somebody tried to one-up somebody. They tried to win at all costs here. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a long overdue apology that's coming in. It's almost like someone here said something that took it too far. They shouldn't have said. They said it in the heat of the moment, okay? With that Ten of Wands energy and that death card here, um, I, I feel like somebody, it, it kind of catapulted someone into change or transformation. Like I'm really, you know, I really need to watch my mouth or I really need to watch what I say. With the Four of Cups here, and um, the temperance card, I feel like I feel like this person is waiting for tempers to cool. You may feel like this person doesn't care, Cancer, about what was said or what was done, um, but I don't feel that that's the case. I feel like this person is waiting for tempers to cool before they come back around. Tell me about this page of wands energy for cancer. Yeah, see, seven of wands. Seven of wands, I mean, in the traditional rider weight with the seven of wands energy, you've got six wands and one person uh, standing there blocking it. Wands can represent communication and passion, and I feel like someone may have popped off at the mouth with no filter. This is someone that says something without filtering um, their emotions or not filtering what they said. It, it was just, tell me about that Eight of Swords energy. Three of Swords in the reverse. I should go back. I should say I'm sorry. I should tell them that I didn't mean it. Okay. Five of Swords in the reverse with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, Cancer, I feel like somebody here is coming back around because they said something that they didn't mean or they said it in the heat of the moment. Knight of Pentacles here and the Nine of Cups. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, please. 
and the three of pentacles. Cancer, this person's going to come back around and try to be more considerate of your feelings. They really do want to work this out with you and make amends. It could also be that this person was talking to other people, Cancer, and they know that they shouldn't have done that. Or they know maybe a truth was revealed and they know that you know that they were flirting with other people. Okay, because again, that seven of wands, it's open. You know, anyone that wanted to talk to this person, they allowed it in. Anybody that wanted to flirt with this person, they didn't say, hey, I'm in a relationship or whatever. And with that eight of swords and that three of swords in the reverse, they're realizing here that they should have never hurt you in that way. So it could be, you know, this person either said or did something that they know really hurt you. And they know that you didn't deserve that. They know that you didn't deserve that. Tell me about the Ten of Wands here for Cancer. And here's the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Death card. And the Judgment card. Cancer, this person may be scared to come forward that, because they feel like it's over between you guys. Like there's no, they feel like they can't take back what they did and they can't fix it either. They feel like you're going to say no. They feel like you're going to say no, that your feelings for them have changed and that there is no second chance. All right. Tell me about cancer, please. But they want to show you that they've changed. They want to show you that they're not who they were before. We've got the seven of swords here and we've got the strength card cancer. I feel like even though you love this person or you want it to be with this person, you pulled back your energy because that strength card can talk about really wanting something, but using your divine guidance, using your divine wisdom to know that, you know, this just isn't for you. With that seven of swords energy, again, this could have been something that was said that was very undercutting, uh, very just like below the belt, or it could be here that, you know, this per you caught this person lying or cheating. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got the Knight of Cups and we've got the Three of Wands in the reverse. You know that you're due an apology here, Cancer, but you're not expecting it. You know what you should be getting. You know that you should be getting an apology here, but you're not expecting it from this person. You know, I feel like you're handling this in a more ascended manner where you, you're just forgiving without the actual apology. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the Moon card and we've got the Two of Pentacles. Or it could be that there's an apology coming in that you weren't, you just weren't expecting to hear from this person. You weren't expecting them to ever come back around and actually humble themselves enough to apologize. And I feel like Cancer, when it does come in with the Moon card and the Two of Pentacles, you're not going to know what to do with it. Because with this Two of Cups energy, Cancer, this communication that you have coming towards you, it's going to be very romantic. It's going to be very sweet. It's going to be very emotional. And I, do, I wouldn't be surprised if the Six of Wands in reverse comes out. I feel like this person's really going to humble themselves and you're not expecting this from this person. Tell me about the Strength card, please. We've got the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups in the reverse. So Cancer, you may have found out that this person was treating you as an option and you know you didn't want to be part of third party energies or you didn't want to be treated like you were just a toy, okay? For others of you, it could be that you know you just can't believe that this person said what they said. They may have been drunk when they said it, Cancer. Like you just can't believe that this person would have taught, said, said something like that to you. So again, it was either something that was said or it was that this person was just flirting with multiple people and you're like, nope, I'm not, I'm not going to be a part of that. Tell me about the three of wands in the reverse. 
and the high priestess. You see what I'm saying, Cancer? I feel like you were not expecting an apology from this person because you have reached a level of ascension in your own life where you have learned to not expect anything from anybody. Forgiveness comes from within. You're not going to sit here and hold a grudge on somebody because that would be like, you know, um, drinking poison and expecting that person to die. You've learned your lessons with that. So you don't expect an apology from this person. You're not expecting for them to come back. You're not expecting them for you, for, for them to do right by you. You have no expectations from this person whatsoever. You've ascended spiritually and on your spiritual journey here, you're remaining quiet. You're remaining focused. You're learning the lesson that needs to be learned. You're not expecting a damn thing from this person whatsoever. Tell me about the Knight of Cups here, please. And Temperance. With the Ace of Swords, you have someone taking action towards you, Cancer. Somebody here that truly, they're being honest, I feel here. It's, it's very honest and emotional communication. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups and the Fool card. They're going to take the risk to come back towards you, Cancer. They're going to, they're, they're going to, it's kind of like an allow me to reintroduce myself energy. I know you know who I was before, but this is who I am now. Tell me about this moon card, please, for Cancer. And the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So here's the thing, Cancer. You've already walked away from this person emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. You've already disconnected from this person. You've left this person behind. Uh, the thing, though, is with the Moon card and the King of Cups here, you know, you never stopped loving this person per se, what you did was you turned towards logic and spirituality. Logic dictated this is not an energy I don't want to be spoken to like this or I don't want to be treated as an option. So I'm going to pull back my energy because this is not where the divine wants me to be. And, and you've ascended enough to where you know that what's for you is for you and what's not for you is not for you. So you've learned to let go and release, which is a beautiful thing, right? But it doesn't mean that you you didn't leave this person because you stopped loving them. You left this person because you were ascended enough to understand that this either wasn't meant for you or is it wasn't meant for you at that point in time. Do you understand? And now that they're back with that two of pentacles, you just don't know what to do. Eight of wands. There's a lot of communication here. There's a lot of communication here. Now, Cancer, look, see, we've got the Six of Wands and the Devil. This is ego. This is ego here. And I told you, I, th I knew the Six of Wands was going to rear its ugly head. This is ego here. And I feel like what we have is somebody humbling their ego and coming in with a very emotional conversation. What do we have for this Two of Cups energy here? The Four of Swords. This person wants to heal your heart, Cancer. Ten of Swords, they know that they hurt you deeply. They know that they hurt you deeply. And Cancer, when this person comes back around, they're gonna, you're going to be sitting in pre-Empress energy. Because what you did here, Cancer, was instead of attacking this person, instead of, you know, having that moment of, you know, self-pity and, and, you know, victim mentality and whiny and all that other stuff, you ascended into an energy of what lesson do I need to learn here? Why am I not loving myself? Why am I staying in a relationship like this? I'm going to pull back my energy. I'm going to know my worth and know that what is meant for me is meant for me. You're handling this type of situation totally different than you've either ever handled it with this particular person or in the past. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Ten of Swords here is an energy of somebody realizing that they hurt you deeply and look at where you are. You, you're, you're taking your power and turning turning it into pay into uh you're taking your pain and turning it into power and trust me cancer with that page of swords energy they see it they see it there's either gossip happening about this or they're seeing you know your stories on instagram or on facebook or whatever they see it they're seeing your glow up they're seeing your glow up and let me tell you cancer i feel like they're respecting it 
they're respecting that glow up. This King of Wands energy is starting to be, I feel like they're, they're very, they, they like can't believe the way you responded to all of this. They can't believe how you're reacting to all of this. With the Ten of Cups here, Cancer, I feel like this person, when this whole event takes place, it, their heart chakra is really being activated when it comes to you, okay? Because they're seeing your growth, they're seeing your growth in how you're handling situations. Four of Cups, Cancer, you're, you're not responding to this and this person is feeling ignored. Um, they're feeling um, like you're not giving it, okay. You know those memes on Facebook that you see sometimes where one half of the meme is a picture of a lawn and clothes are being thrown everywhere or whatever. And then it will say, you know, this guy has a chance of getting their girl back. And then on the other side, you'll see like a porch with everything folded very neatly and, and, and packed very perfectly. And then it'll say, this guy has lost her forever right? And that's the vibe that I'm getting here, Cancer. You're no longer reacting the way you did. You're coming into an energy of understanding. You know what? I need to focus on why I am putting up with either being treated this way, spoken to this way, or being treated as an option. I'm acting like a wife or a husband, a boyfriend or a girlfriend to someone that isn't even, uh, you know, treating me like they're committed to me. Do you understand? You went within to focus on how to fix yourself instead of telling this person what they needed to do to fix themselves to fix the relationship. Do you understand what I mean? Because that's what we do. When we're being hurt by somebody, we'll have that conversation of this is what you need to change about you so that I'm happy and we could fix this connection. Instead, you flip the script and you said, you know what, what do I need to do to be happier with myself and my relationships? And look, you got, you got this person sitting there like, whoa, Cancer's looking kind of hot when Cancer worries about herself or himself. You know what I'm saying? So it's very interesting, Cancer. Okay, so we're going to take it into the extended. Let's see what this person has to say, what their true feelings for, you know, for you, you know, if do they love you? Is this what are their long term intentions and plans with you and this connection? If there were any other third parties, are they released? Will this person ever talk to you this way again or treat you this way again? Or will they come in treating you better? Um and, and, you know, so let's just see here if you should take this uh, connection. I mean, should you just take it and gain whatever closure you need to gain? Or should you take it and actually try again with this person? Okay. So the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you all so very much and I will see you soon. Take care, my loves.